Be warned, the government attack on the unemployed in the newspapers over the last few days is a test to soften us up for the austerity that's coming down the line. It's funny how words don't mean what they used to anymore. I mean, in the old days when someone said they were introducing a reform, working class people could get excited. Reforms like the introduction of welfare or a health service or protections for workers. Now in the age of neoliberalism, reform means the exact opposite. When a government says we're going to reform something, they mean they're going to cut it. The same goes for the Irish government. They talk about introducing stimulus. And then when you read the small print, it's all about cutting the COVID-19 payment. It's like George Orwell's 1984, War is Peace. They say one thing and mean the exact opposite. They wanted to cut the COVID-19 payment because your man that owns Supermax was nagging the government about the fact that low paid workers might not return to work if they weren't starved when they were on welfare. And how else could you entice them back onto low paid and precarious work? I mean, the health measures are important. If the doctor's advice is that we shouldn't travel during a the pandemic, then maybe you shouldn't travel. But isn't it interesting that they single out people on welfare for the attack in the newspapers over the last few days? And it serves the exact same purpose as Varadkar's Welfare Cheats Cheat Us All campaign. It's designed to turn white collar workers and blue collar workers against the unemployed. And once the government have successfully done that, then they can attack the working class as a whole with austerity. It's just designed to soften us up and divide our ranks. And we shouldn't fall for it. And what are they softening us up for? Well, there's a budget coming. The budget that's coming will be all about deciding who pays for the COVID-19 bill and the recession that we're in. And if you read the fine print of the program for government, They've already said that it will be a balanced budget, that they'll return to the negotiation table, have a chat with public sector workers about their pay. So while the super junior ministers get an extra 16 grand a year, on top of the outrageous salary that they're already getting, the reward for frontline staff in our health service, for nurses and others who put their lives on the line during the COVID-19 crisis, well, those people will just have to take pay cuts to pay the bill for COVID-19. We already paid for one recession. The banks bankrupted the country and we put 64 billion in to bail them out. Then we bailed out the developers like Johnny Rohn and True Nama. Why should the working class pay for another recession? The world economy was already faltering before COVID-19 pushed it over the edge. So why should we pay for the stupidity of their system? And the fact that they can attack people on social welfare and talk about cutting public sector pay in their programme for government. And at the same time, they're like pigs in the trough and super junior ministers getting obscene amounts of pay. And many of those who are jobless at the moment, like Debenham workers, for example, are without jobs through no fault of their own. That company, Debenhams, which is part owned by Bank of Ireland, shut up shop and scarpered without paying redundancies. And now Leo wants you to turn on the likes of the Debenhams workers and other people who've lost their jobs over the last few months. And the new coalition of Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and the Greens, they don't want any opposition voice. But that's why our opposition has to be on the streets. If they try and suffocate the opposition in the doll, we have to be the opposition out on the streets where they can't suffocate our voices.